This is Miss Chocolate Girl, or Chocolate Chunk, as we like to call her. She is the biggest in the litter of um, Maybelline and Max's F1 standard Bernadoodles. She weighs 14 pounds now, so she's gonna be, I think, a big girl. She's got the pretty, pretty big paws to go along with that weight, so I'm expecting her to be between 70 and 80 pounds when she fully matures, thank you, which will be about two years old. Her energy level is medium, and she is a traditional tricolor Bernadoodle. So she's got the black face, and then she's got a full white <coughs> And just a little bit, a sliver of a white blaze. She does have the white tuxedo markings all along underneath her chin, all along her chest and her belly. And then she's got white tips, just a little bit on the front, on the tips of her front paws, and then a little bit more on her back. There we go. Good job. And then she's got uh, quite a bit of white on the tip of her tail, like the Bernie's Mountain Dogs. She does have the tan on her eyebrows and then along her jawline running up into her ear and on the front of her front paws and the front of her back as well there we go thank you babe that was really good her coat is um very very loose wave right now i'm expecting that that will wave up just a little bit more so she might end up with some really light loose curls if her coat is allowed to continue to keep growing and it stays brushed out. So I always describe that as kind of like a wave, you know, just cresting over. Where are you going? So it's going to um, need to be maintained about every six to eight weeks. Again, just depending on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to keep her coat long, it's definitely gonna be more maintenance than if um, she's getting shaved down. She will need to be brushed regularly to be able to keep those mats out. This girl has been so much fun to work with. Um, when we did what we call the box game, that's part of one of the puppy culture protocols. So what I'm ultimately trying to do is get the puppies to, on their own, put all four paws on top of a box lid and they'll get treated for that. But as they work towards that, I will treat them for anything along with it. I'll click and treat. The clicker's the marker. I'll click and treat to let them know that they're getting close. It's almost kind of like playing, you know, the hot and cold game. Well, this girl, the first time I did it, and I never expect him to get the first time, uh, she just immediately, it's like she figured out, oh, it's something to do with the box. It's something around here. And so she went and she just stood all four paws on it. And I thought at first, you know, sometimes it happens that they just accidentally do. But as she, I, I got her to get off, and then she immediately went back over and stood again on it. And the second session, same thing. She just knew immediately that that's what I wanted and figured it out. So I've had to work with her a little bit more than some of her siblings because she's just ready. She's ready to learn. Um, she just picks it up a little bit faster. And, and a lot of that, you know, they're at different developmental stages, even though they're the same age, they're at different stages. And you can see she's wanting, you know, she's the only one of the puppies that while I'm doing this is wanting to get down. This girl actively seeks. She it's totally okay to go off by herself. She loves exploring. She loves to check things out. And she really is a super explorer. I've always had some puppies in the litter that like to explore, but like for her, it's almost a must. She definitely wants to be able to see what's in her surroundings and what's going on very often before she can um, totally settle down and be content. So it's something that I'm working with her on because that's obviously not something she's gonna be able to do all the time. So I'm working with um, redirecting to get her to where she'll um, focus a little bit more on what I'm wanting her to do, which she's really good at when she feels like what we're working on is stimulating for her. <laughs> if she feels like she's already got it, then she's on to something else. Um, she's great at recall out of all of the puppies. Um, when I do the puppy puppy calls, she's the first one to come, I think, because she wants to see what are we doing, what are we working on. And she also did really good um, with, you know, startle reflex and going back and checking things out. The only thing she didn't approach afterwards was the vacuum, which is pretty normal for my puppies to be concerned about that. Uh, the one thing that she does do, one of the behaviors that we're working on is she's very um, 
when she takes treats, she does not have what I would call a soft mouth. It's the whole mouth and the teeth. So I have to hold, you know, I don't put my finger out. I have to hold the food a little bit different so she doesn't accidentally hurt me. She's not intending to. But um, with that, she definitely would not do good in a home with little people and then also because she's just so busy and wants to see everything. Uh, children would need to be at least 10 years old so that they would understand about keeping everything picked up a little bit better and um, you know, not encouraging her in some of the behaviors that we're trying to work with her on. Yes. She um, did great on, with her physical, no problems there. Everything was normal. And she also enjoys our visiting our other dogs and our other animals here on the farm. So, so far, everything that we've seen, she do great with other pets in the house. As far as her future home, she definitely needs to be with someone who has previously dog, previous dog experience, especially with training. This is a girl who will walk all over you. Um, if you don't know what you're doing. That doesn't mean you have to be an expert in it, but you just need to understand dog behavior and understand what's um, you know, normal and how to help shape her basically and the way that you want her to go. Because again, you, know, you, you could try dominance with her and, and it would probably work for a little while, but she's not gonna be happy and ultimately you're not gonna be happy because she's gonna find ways to work around that. So definitely continuing in the way that we're doing things with the positive reinforcement is going to be key. And I think you're just hot. Yeah, I think that's what it is. They were just outside running around when I brought her in. I think she needed to get a drink first. That's what it is. So just learning stuff like that where the other puppies would be content to just sit and wait. This girl's like, no, I am thirsty. I need to go get a drink. Hmm. She knows her own mind for sure. All right, should we do a close up? Oh yeah, chunky girl, I know. <laughs> Can I see you? Look, nobody wants to see me, they want to see you. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>